And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? Hi. We are. Oh, yeah, I'm high with you. Oh. Ooh. You don't even know how high I am right now. <laughs> Man. Oh, my gosh. I feel like you were bringing this to a peak just so that you could get me right here and it just go, bam. Let me give it to him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going into solutions. As it's all I've been working on is solutions and not looking at where I've been, but where I'm going. And we talked about this last phase about work. Work is my playground. And this is where I get to change things because I'm at work all day. And there's been times that I've seen contrast that would give me grief before I would even get to work. And so I started seeing this supervisor and how wonderful he was, and how I, I did such a great job, and he would tell me, oh my gosh, you, you do a really good job, Dorothy, and we were really appreciating you. And I just started edifying everybody around me, and my workspace, in less than three days, it changed dramatically. I would see myself somewhere else, and I'm like, wow, I'm not even gonna be in the chaos today. But then at the same time, after I started seeing... Did it change or did you? I changed. You changed. Your perception of it changed. Yes. And after your perception of it changed, then it changed. Yes. And it changed... For others to see, too. It, it changed dramatically. And I'm not trying to say I want to see the chaos, but I want to master being in the midst of it so it doesn't affect me. You want to benefit by it. Yes. You want to appreciate it. I am appreciating it. Yeah. I'm appreciating it so much that my coworker yesterday was with me and watched it unfold. And she says, I can't believe this is what's happening right now. You know, one of the wonderful things about chaos, chaos doesn't have very strong patterning in it. Chaos is almost like a neutral place from which you can choose anything you like. And you know what? That's, that is unique. I'm starting to see subtle things like that happen for me. And at the point where it, kind of, it sounds kind of weird, but I'm kind of like picking it, but I'm not picking it. And it's like, it's just there, and, and I'm missing it. Like I said, it's like a playground. Well, what you're talking about is, step one is ask. Contrast helps you do that. Step two is source answers becomes it. Step three is you find a way to get into the receiving mode. Step four is you master that. You're really good at that. Satisfaction is what you're looking for. And step five is just what you described. You acknowledge contrast, but it doesn't take you down. Yes. You acknowledge contrast, but you don't lose your vibrational stance. That's where I'm trying to master. And this is why I need you to help me because I want this more than life itself just being here. Well, know. that's too much. That, that's, you, know. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? When you want something that much, you just make it hard. Because the hokey pokey really is all that it's about. <laughs> so let's take the stress out of that. Okay. So I sort of kind of want this because I think it would feel good. Not, I want this more than life itself. Well, you know, let me, let me compare. What I was comparing that to was the fact that I see people trying hard, and I say, okay, well, I'm gonna try to relax more. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna re relax more, I mean, to the point where I, when I get to work, I'm already meditating so before I start, because I'm anticipating great things to happen yeah. at work. Perfect. You know? Satisfied where I am and eager for more. Here's two things. First thing, in my state of living where I dwell, not in a building, I'm really satisfied where, I'm, where others might think I'm not. And, and I see them saying, well, why are you still there? Why are you dealing with that? I think you understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. Sorry to talk in riddles, people. But I don't want to put into it because I don't think too many people can handle what I wanted to say. I'm satisfied with it. And so something's telling me when I look, you say, everything's already manifested. It's a done deal. It's already done. So I'm looking more at what do I want to come in my present? you know, what I want to manifest. You're going to like this and benefit from it. Sometimes people worry when they listen to us at first. If they follow our encouragement and they choose to be satisfied, even though every aspect of their life isn't as they now want it to be, 
they worry that the universe or source energy or someone who's doling out the goodies <laughs> will look at them and say well she's already satisfied so never mind let's move on to someone who really needs something like if I'm satisfied then nobody will help me and that's because you're used to dealing with action you're used to pleading a needy case and if you plead enough of a needy case then somebody will come to your help but that's really mediocre help that comes when you plead a needy case and so when you realize that the more satisfied you are the more options of satisfaction that you have and then you start witnessing that and you don't worry so much what other people are thinking about it yes 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 that's true I, I've been seeing myself say it doesn't matter what they think be free just do what you want to do did that get resolved already yes good yes where I'm at now step one I did that step two I'm, I'm allowing I'm, it's there. I'm, step three, I'm allowing things to happen. Step four, I know I'm starting all over again, right? I want to be able to feel, I want to tune better. I want to be able to tune. But that's really why we're talking in the way we are today. Because the earlier you tune, the easier it is to do. So as you play with that a little bit, you'll discover how much power there is in catching it at the early stages. Feel the distinction, again, between some relief because I'm working on moving up the emotional scale and satisfaction which doesn't include any work satisfaction which doesn't have any resistance in it so when law of attraction responds to me a thinker who is satisfied then the thoughts that come to me the thinker who is satisfied are increasingly satisfying increasingly satisfying bigger faster better more exhilarating experiences and thoughts yes yes but now I'm being satisfied, okay? But here's the thing, the mind is going here, 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 here. I wanna, okay, put the brake on it, let's focus. I wanna focus because I'm, I've got so much going on and I'm trying to, okay, bring it down, bring it down, but right here. But you play with this a little bit, if you focus on the things that are easy to feel satisfying about, till you get really hooked on the feeling of satisfaction. Example. The example of, well, what's the easiest give thing? Give me an example so you see the easiest things, right? I mean... Can you give us an example of the easiest thing to feel satisfied well, about? Well, that's it. I got like 20 million things going on, so I'm trying to... I want everything, so I'm trying to figure, okay, slow down. Just pick one, Dorothy. Pick one, right? You're in this chair right now. I picked... Oh, my gosh, I'm satisfied. I'm so happy. And so you're in this chair right now. Is that satisfying? Yes, I, I was in a sea of people who all had their hands up, and Abraham got me. Okay, so now I want to get better at that now because, you know, she Now got you're not me. satisfied. Okay, yes, I'm satisfied. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. So when you find something that's easy to be satisfied about, and there are always those things around you, then you get hooked on that feeling of satisfaction. So the feeling becomes what you're reaching for, not the benefit of the feeling. It's the feeling that you're reaching for. I want to feel satisfied and I don't care what it takes to feel satisfied if I have to focus I will so satisfying and staying in a satisfying place whatever is in my vortex staying can there I just means keep choosing things that are satisfying and recognizing when I begin to deviate and then pulling back and letting satisfaction be the goal again because you see if the goal isn't satisfaction if the goal is making more money all kinds of thoughts might lead you away from satisfaction. If the goal is being understood instead of being satisfied, then all kinds of things might take you away from satisfaction. It's only when satisfaction is really what you're going for. It's only when satisfaction is really what you're going for. It's only when being in the receptive mode is really what you're going for. It's only when being tuned in, tapped in, turned on is really what you're going for. It's only when the leverage of source energy is really what you're going for. It's only with seeing through the eyes of source is really what you're going for. In other words, satisfaction, we don't want for a moment to diminish its value in your eyes. Satisfaction is everything because satisfaction is your key to the big energy. Satisfaction is your key to the big guys, to the big room, to the big results. Satisfaction is the key but satisfaction is so easy to accomplish so when you say I want it more than life itself you've made it so big you can't find it but when you say I want satisfaction now you've made it reachable so now I'm also 
we're at the point where I'm satisfied, and that's where the momentum builds with the, the satisfaction. And why does the momentum build? Because I'm finding more and more things to no, get satisfied. No, you're not. No, you're not finding them. No, the universe why is bringing it to me. And why? Because I'm satisfied and but I'm why? enjoying more and more things are coming. Because in satisfaction, there's no resistance. And when law of attraction responds to your vibration of no resistance, it has to get more. It's a law of physics. Satisfaction, no resistance. No resistance, more momentum. More momentum, more power. More fun. It's way more fun to go 100 miles an hour than five. So is universe also guiding me as I'm starting on more smaller things that I'm satisfied that I have no resistance against? Universe isn't guiding you. You're guiding you because your inner being has already pointed at what you want. As you reach for satisfaction, you go where you want to go. Key right there. Big key. And you go where you're looking. Jerry learned that with Esther. They're driving down the freeway in the monster bus. Esther's usually driving. And he'd say, oh, look at that rainbow. And Esther would go over there. <laughs> He got so, if it wasn't dead ahead, he never pointed it out. <laughs> because you tend to go where you're looking. So, Abraham, I noticed, you know, just coming into this for the first time, right? And I, I used to stumble into it, okay? And then I would be like, well, how did that happen? But now I know why. Deliberate creation is so much more delicious than creation yes. by default. Yes, yes. Yes. Everybody can stumble into some moments of satisfaction. But you know what that does? That leads to you wanting to control conditions. Because when you see a condition that makes you feel satisfied and you kind of stumble into it, then you think, oh, well, then in order for me to be satisfied, which I like, then I have to control these conditions, which I can't do. But when you show yourself how you can be satisfied because you have the ability to focus and there's always plenty to be satisfied about, now 